Uh, hi, good afternoon. Uh, my question is actually about some of the justifications of the white paper. Because a lot of the basis um, for the reasons of the white paper even being published is for the sake of helping our shrinking population and kind of affirming our labour market and basically for other economic reasons. So I'd like to ask whether it's possible for Singapore to have a sustainable economy without having to rely on such a huge number of foreign talent within our workforce. Thank you. Um, this is a very good question. Um, on this need for foreign labour, I think the government has recognised that we probably don't need quite as many as we did in the last few years. And that's why if you read the, the Straits Times, you will see that there has been a big push towards productivity and the government is trying to move away from this reliance. Um, having said that, it's also an ongoing conversation that we have about how much economic growth we want. And Singaporeans are not having enough babies. I mean, all of you are 18, right? But in a few years' time, you're going to get married, and then you will start listening to your aunties and your uncles, and they'll ask you, when are you going to have children? And the thing, and the reality is that we are not having enough babies to replace ourselves. And so, one of the options is to make sure that we have a vibrant workforce, and one of, one of the options is actually to get foreigners in to support this vibrant workforce. Whether the number is going to grow, if it will stay constant, if it will decrease, that is the conversation that we're having now. So I don't have a direct answer for you, but it, there definitely is this debate going on about how, how much reliance we need. Um, but the main thing is actually um, the economy. You know, Singapore needs um, to have a thriving economy so that we have good jobs. Um, there's also another debate going on about economic growth and it's more philosophical about whether economic growth is good, whether we can stop growing and be happy, um, whether we can be um, happy not being a first-class uh, global city, whether we can be a second-tier city. So these are serious questions that we need to think about, and I think it's all part of the debate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have our next question. Um, good afternoon. Uh, my question is about Budget 2013. In Budget 2013, uh, Mr. Taman Shamujaratnam stated that the government is cutting down foreign worker quotas to industries with low productivity. Do you think it would be more feasible to pack the number of foreigners entering Singapore to the local workforce growth rate or to the growth of certain industries rather than looking at the productivity of, of that industry? For example, in, construction, in the construction industry, where there may not be much capacity to innovate, the government has mentioned about the building of HDB flats ahead of demand and the expansion of Singapore's transport network. But if a further increase in foreign worker levy in these industries, would this result in, the, in an increase in the cost of living or transportation? Okay, um, thank you for that question. But first of all, I would challenge the, the assumption that there is very little room to innovate in construction. Uh, that's a myth. Uh, um, Actually, our construction industry is one of the productivity laggards. Uh, when you look at how we go about building our homes, I think you'll be amazed at how slow the process is because so many of our uh, work processes are outmoded, old-fashioned, where we have not used technology, we have not used creativity, we have not used prefab to uh, build more efficiently, like in many other places. So uh, that's my first point. I do not think that the room for uh, productivity gains in construction is small. I think it's huge. So um, I think cutting the foreign worker numbers, the quota, is a necessary step to prod these companies to get off the cheap drug of foreign labor. It is to force them to think more, creativ more creatively is to force them to get on the productivity escalator. So there is no two ways about it. Workforce growth, ultimately, um, there, there are limits to workforce growth. Because, as Jessica points out, your indigenous population growth is slowing down. So these are the realities we are confronted with. Thank you.